Good morning. Welcome to day 153, Friday, September 6th, 2004. It's about 7.30. We've been going for about an hour and a half, having a little breakfast. And we're going to hit the boundary of um, Mount Rainier National Park in about seven and a half miles. Cool. I decided against crossing over that log. Um, I rock hopped instead. Okay, it's about quarter after 10. I've been climbing for a while. We're about a mile and a half from the boundary with the um, Mount Rainier National Park. So we'll take a break there. But this is going to be the last water source. I'm just gathering some water and I'll do electrolytes at the uh, park boundary, I think. We just finished a big, big, big climb. We're at the boundary, one of the boundaries with Mount Rainier National Park. The sign is gone, but the PCT kind of weaves in and out of the national park for a few miles. Um, you see one of these little boundary signs that you see on trees. So, I brought some creek water up. We got a nice little shady spot. I'm gonna do some electrolytes. Uh, I think it's around 11 o'clock, so ready for a nice little break. We're getting awfully close to Mount Rainier. Pretty amazing view of Mount Rainier on the way down on this side. Been pretty exposed trail, hence the sun hoodie is up. Um, there's going to be another seasonal stream coming up within the next two miles or so, I think. I'll do another round of electrolytes there. I've seen no Sobos today. Saw three southbound backpackers and just one Nobo has passed me so far this morning. Though I did pass a, a handful, like five or six tents in the morning, so we shall see if more pass me. It's about four o'clock. Found a spot here on the west side of Dewey Lake. Nice shady spot and secluded. So we'll take this one. Definitely a um, long day of hiking in the heat with a first day of a full heavy pack. So probably didn't get 20 miles, but close to it. So I'm going to get situated and then get some water and relax. All right, we're at Dewey Lake and we're gonna grab some water. So as I came down the little lake to get water, this is a beautiful campsite, but it's not a hundred feet away from the water, that's for sure. I mean, even being super generous, you're probably 60 feet away if you put your tent right on the edge. So you never know if it's one of those deals where since it's already a hardened site, um, it's okay. Or, I mean, there's no signs that say no camping, which would typically be posted. But um, I'm not even going to bother. I'm fine with the site I have. But it, that is a really nice hardened site there. All right, let's do a recap. We're at 5,150 feet off the west shore of Dewey Lake. Uh, I believe that we're in 
um, Mount Rainier National Park, but we may be on the boundary. I'm not quite sure. Um, but we're right. I think we are in the park right now. Did just shy of 19 miles, so almost got to my goal, but I uh, just didn't have any anything left. It's the first day in a long time that I had stopped for electrolytes twice during the day. The second stop was only like a mile from here, but I really needed to get some electrolytes in that water there. It was nice and cold, so the lake water is also really nice. It's um, not warm. It's, uh, it's good. It's a huge lake, so that's also good. There are definitely um, people camped a bit north of me. Like, I can hear the voices every once in a while, but can't see them, and I certainly won't hear, hear them later tonight, so that is good. Um, looking forward to rest. I think I'm going to try and leave the rain fly off. I did have a little bit of self-service at the first uh, sign that wasn't there when we were entering the park after that big climb. Um, and I was able to like briefly just check the weather and it doesn't look like there's any rain coming. So I'm going to risk it. Like last night, right before I went to bed, it felt like maybe it could rain. So I like quickly just threw the fly on just in case. But I think tonight will be good. So, um, yeah, it's a good day, but I'm like, I am tired. Already had some electrolytes, had some Dots pretzels, enjoying a beer that is surprisingly um, cool. Not ice cold, but cool. And that's with hiking, like, in pretty exposed sunny sections where my thermometer was reading, like, 85, which is probably higher than it was just because when it's in direct sun, it always, like, reads higher than it is. But still, still pretty hot. And we were exposed more than we were in the shade. So, um, yeah, it was a hot day. First day, first full day hiking with a full pack. This will be my last biggest resupply. Um, this one I'm set up for like 10 nights. So only two more resupplies after this and they're not going to be, they're like eight nighters or something. Even though I have that road walk for the fire detour, I'll have extra from this one that I'll just use for the next one. But I don't think my pack's going to be any heavier for the rest of the trip, which is nice to think about. Um, yeah, I briefly was able to say hello to Sarah. I guess someone just posted on Facebook their impressions of the wildfire reroute that's coming up that they just completed. So it's always good to, you know, you got to kind of, without knowing their background or what their story is, it's good to have the info, but you still have to make your own decisions. So now I've got beta from two different people. Also have the official... Um, PCTA website beta so I'm still hoping that maybe because I won't that's like 200 miles away from here so I'm still hoping maybe parts of the trail reopen by then or roads reopen by then um, but if not then we'll we'll just go for it but that's um oh and there's another my um other hiking friend from New Hampshire happy camper she's um currently posting on Instagram as she's doing that detour um now so i didn't have enough, really enough service to see what was going on but sarah told me she's like in the middle of it right now and i guess none of her um trail buddies wanted to do it or couldn't do it or who knows what so she's doing it by herself so go get it happy camper um yeah i think that's it for today um pretty tired and it's been like warmer the past few days um, I don't want it to be like rainy all day, but I don't want it to be hot all day either. I want that fall hiking temperature, like in the fifties or the low sixties, but with no rain. So, you know, no matter what the weather is, you always want something different. Um, so yeah, I just wish it was a little cooler, but it's been pretty much cooling down at night. It hasn't been terrible. Um, but yeah, like I haven't had to wear an extra layer in the morning. I mean, I'll have my fleece hat on, but I haven't had to put any other layers on, which for a while there, the past 
like two weeks ago at the end of Oregon I was doing. But um, so I'm sure that'll change eventually. But um, it is the weekend. So I did. There were three Nobos who passed me throughout the day. Um, then there were a lot of um, backpackers out and about enjoying the good weather and the weekend. So that's it. Cheers. We'll see you tomorrow.